Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start to story. AITA for not moving my wedding date just because my sister is pregnant. Hey guys, I'm 25F and I have a sister, Ella, 28F. We've always been super tight, like I was her maid of honor at her wedding, and of course, she's supposed to be mine. All was good until, boom, Ella got pregnant. Now don't get me wrong, I'm thrilled for her. The problem is, she's five months pregnant now, and had a rough first trimester throwing up all day, tired AF, and just feeling like crap. Her husband travels for work a lot, so since I work remotely, I've been spending a lot of time helping her out. Originally, my fiancé and I set our wedding date for July, but when I saw how miserable Ella was, I thought it'd be better to push it back. I didn't want her feeling like a zombie at my wedding, and her doctor said she should feel better by her second trimester. To be clear, nobody in my family asked me to change the date, but I thought it was the right thing to do. So after talking to my fiancé, we rescheduled the wedding for later in the year, hoping she'd feel better. Fast forward to now, and Ella's doing way better. She's back to eating normal food, going out, and honestly just looking like her old self again. So, my fiancé and I started talking about wedding plans again. I've always dreamed of a summer beach wedding, but I didn't want to wait a whole year for it, so we started thinking, hey a winter wedding could be cool, right? After some back and forth, we decided on December. So we sent out the invites last week, thinking all is good, until I get a call from Ella. She's pissed, saying I'm inconsiderate for scheduling the wedding in December when she'll be eight months pregnant. She ranted about how hard it's gonna be for her to be my maid of honor, and said I was putting her through even more stress after everything she's already been through. I was like, wait, what? I didn't expect her to go all out as MOH or anything. I just want her to show up, have a good time, and be there with me. I even offered to pay for her dress alterations to fit her bump and promised her she wouldn't have to worry about hair or makeup. I'm covering that for everyone. But nope, she wasn't having any of it and flat out demanded we move the wedding, again, this time to next summer after her baby's born. That's when I had to put my foot down. I already moved the wedding once, and I'm not doing it again. Then my parents got involved telling me to reconsider, because you know she's emotional and hormonal right now. I straight up told them that's no excuse for her to act like a brat. Thanks to everyone who's chimed in with advice. I now realize that choosing December wasn't the most thoughtful decision, especially with Christmas right around the corner. I always wanted a winter wonderland wedding, but I didn't think about how stressful and expensive that time of year can be for everyone else, including my family. Some of y'all asked why my sister found out the wedding date through an invitation card. It wasn't like I was trying to exclude her or anything. She asked to stay out of the planning to avoid stress, which made sense. Since she wasn't actively involved, I didn't think to run the specific date by her before sending out invites. In hindsight, I totally should have. Anyway, things hit a boiling point, so my fiancé and I went to my parents' house to talk it out with Ella. She'd been using them as middlemen so I figured it was time we just hashed this out face to face. My fiancé came with me, just in case things got tense. When we showed up, it was clear they weren't expecting him, but whatever, they didn't ask him to leave. I started by apologizing to Ella, saying I understood why she was upset and that I could have handled things better. My parents were engaged in the convo, but Ella? She sat there, barely listening, and only giving one-word answers. I was getting frustrated, and I guess she picked up on that, and then she s and Out of nowhere, she starts chucking pillows at me, like actually throwing them across the room. After she ran out of pillows, she grabbed her juice and threw it at me, and when that didn't satisfy her, she hurled a pen at me too. All the while screaming about how my wedding is overshadowing her pregnancy. I kid you not. My poor fiancé took the brunt of the juice and pillow storm, oh bless him. I didn't even retaliate, not only cause she's pregnant, but also because I was straight up in shock. Then she storms off to her old bedroom, leaving me and my fiancé sitting there like, WTF just happened? And my parents? They just sat there, doing nothing. After a minute of awkward silence, I told my fiancé we're leaving, and we bounced. Since then, we've been talking about what to do next. We even called his family for advice. I don't know what our next move is, but I might update y'all once we figure it out. Edit It is a large wedding. The only reason we were able to reschedule was because it's our friends' shops and venues, and they were able to do this for us, 
off they were compensated per the contracts and all of that. The initial rescheduling was because of her sickness, since she was literally unable to move some days, and my mother even feared the baby wouldn't make it. I admit that when we fixed a new date, we didn't linger much on her pregnancy since she was in the picture about the time frame, we hadn't set a date yet but knew it would likely be in winter, and she hadn't raised any concerns. I've never been pregnant before, so I know I'm not in her shoes, but she seems like a new person, no sickness lingering, she's out and about every day, and has even talked about planning a baby moon with BIL around Christmas so that would be after our wedding, 8 December. I may be biased to say that she's glowing but she's doing much better. No more sickness, a lot of energy, eating better, even exercising for a couple hours a day. I also don't want to use the reschedule we did and hold it over her head as a sort of shield because she didn't ask for it, and I didn't do it for gratitude or whatever else, it was the right thing to do. And I don't hold it against her or act like I'm the epitome of goodness. We were all genuinely worried about her and the baby, and it was the most logical thing to do. I agree that I should have talked to her about the date prior to setting it, but the time frame is pretty small, considering January is her due date and after that she'll be dealing with a newborn baby. I honestly don't mind sharing the spotlight because it's literally a baby. God, this is going to sound conceited, but a baby wouldn't be on par with a bride in a wedding no matter how adorable they are. Besides, my cousin recently had a baby girl and she's going to be the ring bearer, driven around one of those remote-controlled mini cars. Comments Careless Channel 641 I think she just showed you who she is. She said it, literally, your wedding is still overshadowing my pregnancy. I never thought you should have apologized. You already moved the date once for her. You didn't do anything wrong. Your wedding is about you, not her. Cars and Kitty She definitely expects her newborn to overshadow your wedding. Also, eight months pregnant isn't a big deal. Many women are still working full-time at that point. She can stand through the ceremony, then sit and enjoy the reception. You're not asking her to run a marathon. Finding Love's Retreat Op, you didn't do anything wrong. Your sister is being selfish and entitled. You already accommodated her once, and she's just being unreasonable now. Go ahead with your wedding as planned, with or without her, as MOH. Thanks for watching till the end. Wishing you an awesome day, feel free to drop a comment if you got more to share.